thanks for coming and joining me in this short Cubase tips video. Have you ever been working on a project and you found that you've got tracks that are scaled to different sizes, so some are squashed, some are larger, and you just want a quick way to reset all of the views? You can do this really easily by coming down to the bottom right here, and just above where you can scroll the size of tracks, there's a little down arrow icon. Now, if you click on this, you will have a pop-up menu with a number of different zoom states. So if I want to set these to zoom tracks to one row, then I can do that. If I want to go a little bit larger, then I could say you zoom tracks four rows like so. If I want to have the entire project as small as possible, I could go to zoom tracks minimal. Now, what's really useful is you have one called zoom end tracks. And when you click on this, you'll get a little pop-up dialogue. And whatever you type in here will be the amount that Cubase displays to you in the project. So if I want it to be zoomed in so I can see exactly 10 tracks, I can type in 10, click OK, and Cubase will zoom in to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tracks. Now something else you can do as well is you can actually turn off the snap track heights feature. So that means if you are scaling things by default with this enabled, you can see it's snapping um, the values when it's sizing. And if I disable this, it means it turns it off so you can actually have more control over how much you want to zoom something by. Now, like with most things in Cubase, you can bind these things to key commands. So if you go up to edit, then go to key commands, and at the very bottom, there'll be a folder called Zoom. If you expand this folder, you'll have access to all of those Zoom settings, which you can bind to keystrokes by typing them into the typing key, I don't know, such as this, and just making sure nothing's bound already which will show up here and then assigning it and that way you can hit your keystrokes and automatically set the size of your tracks in your project hopefully this has helped you out a little bit and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video